Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Funbridge Point Tournament live stream. Your comment is Milan. The tournament starts on Monday 7 p.m. Please, reserve the Tuesday evenings from 7.30 for the live stream. We play 10 boards with match point scoring. After the pre-recorded boards from the tournament, Milan will challenge three players' life. Everybody can join. We all make mistakes and we can learn from each other. In order to join the lottery for the challenge, write down your fun bridge nickname challenges Milan in the chat, or invite Milan for a challenge directly in the application. The lottery will be drawn after the third board, and players drawn will receive diamonds, as a reward for their courage, and their skills. The official sponsor of the live stream is Fun Bridge. The entry fee to the tournament is only 5 diamonds. 10 players will receive a reward of 50 diamonds by Milan's choice and the lottery. Have fun and good luck. Hello everyone, welcome to another live stream. Funbridge YouTube channel means that we will be playing match points as, as usual. 10 boards, okay. How about the sound? Hopefully everything is okay. And we have some players already on the chat. So feel free to send me the invitation for the challenge either within the chat or in the application. So this is where we already have two challenges waiting. Maybe somebody in the meantime joins, not yet. So we have Horia here and Bergas waiting with the challenge and the others hopefully will follow. By the way, for those, and I will remind also later, there is the new tournament here, back to bridge tournament which is kind of, I would say, just for fun, 100 tournaments you can play, it's free of charge, see, Roger just joined there, so perfect, another challenger, and from 100 tournaments, I think only one tournament is enough to qualify for the finals, where you will have 8 tournaments and 2 will be actually deciding of the winner, so I think you will need to score something like 80% to win or 78 at least uh, but anyway it's uh, free so i guess that there will be big participation which always is a good thing that you can compare to as many players as possible okay well people are gathering around so let's go and start with board number one have fun guys And we start with a huge hand. 11 high card points, semi balanced, but partners opening strong two clubs. In my setup, I have as well two diamonds opening as forcing to game. So, this is usually something between 18 to 22 high card points with a five card major or most often balanced 22 23. So, with both hands, kind of want to end up in a slam since I have three potentially four tricks covering with honors so let's start with two diamonds because we don't have a better relay here because the rest is forcing with uh, five cards we don't have it I'm expecting two hearts rebid here yeah two hearts is five cards now pardon might actually be weaker with a singleton so if pardon has a singleton club our hand might be not that good or we might not have the slam there but if partner has any other hand then the slam should be there so let's go with two no trumps i guess and we want to hear partners four cards three hearts six cards so probably let's ask for key cards nope so let's cubit on control in spades that would be fine Three no trumps, so let's go with four clubs. We promised two hearts, but I'm fine with that. Partner bits diamonds, and now we ask for key cards. 
Okay, five diamond, zero or free key card. So Barton has three aces, because we have the king of hearts. I might ask for for the queen, but I mean, right now, yeah, we just bet this is match points. So six no trumps seems to be a bit better. Yeah, well, this is match points. So let's go six no trumps, because I think the majority of the field will be in free no trumps. And let's hope Parton has a real two clubs opening. Let's see. Okay, what is it? 10, 18. Well, that's not the perfect uh, free clubs opening, I would say. Okay, so what do we need? We need the heart split. If hearts are not splitting, then three, six, nine, ten. We have no chance. Porn has five theoretical losers. With this hand, you just open one heart. I mean, this is working so well that if you have four theoretical losers, so missing four owners, you just open two clubs. If you have five, you just open one heart because then you have a rebid of three hearts, three no trumps, four hearts, whatever. Okay. I have another option to either to play the spade finesse or to play the diamond towards the king. I have to unblock and I have to unblock the clubs as well. So I think I'm unblocking the clubs first to prepare the potential squeeze. Let's see, three, two, okay. So that's a very good start. Now I kind of have to make a choice. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven tricks. If I play the spade towards the jack, they catch the diamond for sure. But if I play the diamond towards the king, they might return the club, and I might have another chance. So I'm going to play the diamond towards the king. Yeah, bad news, and the jack comes back. Terrible. Maybe I should have squeezed them. Anyway, I'm going only down one. Six hearts. Might make... Oh, okay, because hearts might not be splitting 3-3 free free yet. Maybe this was a bit premature claim. Because hearts... They might just have the wrong one, but since both played the low one, I don't think that that's the case. Yeah. Now they must split. Unless they were 5 for 1. That was a chance as well. Okay, right now the rest is ours. Too bad. How about Spade Finesse? Spade Finesse is on! So that 50 50 chance, I just didn't guess it right. So if I decide to play on a Spade Finesse, 6 no trumps will be making. I play the diamond towards the king and the jack is onside doubleton, so it was quite easy for East to catch the jack. But imagine it would have been different a little bit and East will have like ace jack small, then returning the diamond for him might be not that easy, while returning the club is an absolute guarantee. So I think playing the diamond towards the king is a better chance than playing the spade towards the jack. Okay. Well, let's see if I get a couple of percent. Yeah, unfortunately, the first board didn't work out. 8% only for 6 no trumps. And you see that I just missed 9% in the total ranking of 10 boards. That's just uh, incredible, you know. Only 11 players went down from 6 no. I'm like surprised here and only eight made so obviously the setup people have different or you guys have like different approach here with 11 counts well in my life if you open two clubs and i have three kings and a queen we just have to end up playing a slam so not not probably the same way for others same as david is saying also not my style to open such a weak hand with two clubs 
but that's a learning curve that in my setup this is happening like too often so I probably have to count with that already since I have the two diamonds opening strong so next time better be passive okay hi Elena welcome uh, Horia is there as well here David challenged and I have also the list filled in still two boards to go so you can throw and send me a challenge within the app which might be easier for me later to accept um, otherwise we just go and watch the board number two and after that I will just show the list so you can see if you are on and you will have a little bit extra time to think if you test your luck and skill tonight. Two and ten eye card points, but three top honors with tens. And that's huge because the values are actually on the right side in front of our honors. So right now I want to force to game with the high card, but I will invite first. So I think two spades is well, showing a four card, two no trumps is natural. I don't want to double with these hands. It's just not my nature, you know, to double with a fed. But with Arjun, I mean, no, I'm, I'm just showing a fed. Three hearts, a minimum. Okay, well, anyway, let's bit four hearts. Now we have two over three spades. Okay, partner has a doubleton, so we are losing a spade, diamond, and most likely a club. I don't like this lead. So how are we losing the club? If I duck the club... West can win with the king and give, par give partner a club rough. That's not what I want. And I don't think this is a lead from King, if he has the spade sequence. So let's see. Hearts are not splitting. Because while well, this guy for one spade and three spades, he might have something like six, five. And I don't need to rough anything in south hand, so let's just cash all the trumps and try to play the clubs. Yeah, here we go, and a singleton, perfect. Guessed it right, this is very often on fun bridge, but also in real life, if somebody is bidding suits or on high level, it's based on distribution, because we had quite a lot of high card points. And now, since Wes didn't have anything in clubs, he will have the diamond ace. So hopefully some match points back, since I have lost a lot on the first board. But hopefully we are back in the run for over 60 or 65%. Let's see, C6, 5, 1, 2, 3... For five theoretical losers, perfectly justified bid. They're making free spades. So this should be good, because I guessed the club's right. Yeah, here we go. 86%. Well, and is this a top score? Yeah, well. <laughs> Let's celebrate the top score. Over 100 players reached four hearts and made. So that's about it. But see that this was about reaching four hearts. At the end, also about making because a couple of players probably prefer to duck the club. And this is uh, what is happening, you know, standardly. Okay, Kevin is inviting there as well. So let's try to switch and show the list of the challengers so far we have matea and well as Ruxandra, i'm not sure if we played a challenge before 
So let me know, Ruxandra, if we did or not. Otherwise, you will be the one who will be playing tonight for sure. And yeah, well, maybe I will reconsider if, if we don't play a challenge anyways. Uh, but we will see. I want to be fair to everyone. Also, still the challenge, like the Mihail's challenge, who managed to beat me three times in the tournaments, still is valid those who already used that uh, it's like a refresh so now you need to beat me another three times to get a guarantee free challenge in the evening on the live stream okay so Rooksunder we never played okay so well then uh, just uh, send me a challenge I will accept immediately and you can start playing so you have a little bit more time because tonight, tonight it's your night, Ruxandra. Okay, so we go and continue with board number three. Ivan challenging, perfect. 12 high card points, but a balanced hand. Like four triple three, usually you don't want to bet, especially vulnerable. On the other hand, we have four top cards. So do I actually want to make a bid? Because if I don't make it now, later it might be impossible. And we might have a contract since I might score like four tricks. Yeah, very tough decision, but I think in here match points. In, in imps, I will just pass. In match points, I want to be a little bit more aggressive by winning the bidding. So let's see if partner has something two hearts i'm very happy with that free oh <laughs> i mean pardon just bit two hearts is non-forcing you know and then suddenly after three diamonds he has a four hearts bit the good thing is that i don't have wasted values in diamonds opponents probably have a nine card fit pardon has a singleton so now he improved his hand hoping that i have the points in other suits I do, but not that many, partner. Let's see. Four card. Four six. So when is he going to bid the clubs? I mean, one, two, three, four losers just from top. And I'm not talking about the roughs. Okay, well, this is relatively good. Now I need the trumps to split. Yeah, I have to duck the heart. And if they play the diamonds, I need to play the spade. I need clubs to be 2-2 and hearts to be 3-3. Free free. I rub this one. I probably unblock with the ace. No, I can I can play the spade first, I think. Because if they play the diamond, I rough and I cross with the spade. If they duck the king of spades, then I can draw two rounds of trumps. Yeah. Now in order not to go that many down, I can rough, the, because, well, now I don't need clubs to, to, they didn't give each other a rough, and West have no idea that North is having six clubs. So, I mean, I have to take the risk now, I think. Everything so far points that hearts are splitting free free. Come on, come on! Yay! Lucky! I mean, partner, you are a lucky bastard. And if clubs are 2 2, no, clubs are 3 1, so they didn't give each other a rough. Perfect, because if I try to cross and rough another diamond for 11 tricks, I will go down. 
Okay, I'm happy taking 10 tricks. I'm not wasting the time to try them to deck. The thing here is that just don't throw away the smallest cards usually, but I mean since North showed absolute different hand, it's very tough for West to find the club rough here. Okay, let's see uh, how was the bidding in on other tables. not really for the bidding that was disgusting but sometimes you just get lucky that the distribution is fine and you see that I was not the only one as the chat is suggesting you know 115 players bid and went down one then another 28 went down two and 20 down three so well plenty of players kind of misplaying this of course, there might be a different defense and stuff, but first of all, what was so important was ducking one low heart. See that I had the board under control by ducking the first round, because then they can short me twice on the side where I had the ace of hearts, or maybe you might just uh, catch the ace and then just duck one round. Uh, because then they just cannot give each other a rough, but then you want to no that way see mirror That way you want to duck the trump to the right defender So they don't give each other the club rough at the end. So this is what uh, Happens, you know with me so two top scores and one bottom in the first three boards and let's have a look what's what is it now with the challengers? So guys, I just have to find the pack of cards. Okay, I found it. In the meantime, is there anybody else like Moonwolf? I think you are Aldor, not on the list yet. I'll just check if there is uh, somebody else on the app. So Mata already accepted, so she can play. Mata as Ruxandra. Ivan Reiner's okay. I just put everything in so far, and if no one else joins, then we have the full suit. But the nine of spades is out because Ruxandra have the challenge. And since today was quite tough, not like that that easy for me. I think three challengers for tonight might be enough i already played i don't know like uh 50 boards today um and of course there will be the number three for the challenger for 50 diamonds you can already see the list so you can check if you are there or if you have won the prize for the rank which is uh for some time already the same otherwise give me guys two numbers from one to twelve and excluding the free okay well increasing the volume that's that's a good thing I restarted before I was so let's say let's see okay yeah oh, thank you that's the point because I restarted and the micro just reset it just by itself to 78% only so now hopefully it should be a bit better so we have number four samra number three is out because the third challenger will get 50 diamonds anyways so you just confirm that you like the number three and we have see and we have Ivan as number nine wait aldor just joined as moonwolf so i'm adding the ace of hearts Aldor974 Okay, so you are there as well adding the ace of hearts shuffling the pack and We have four and nine bang your brains. Thank you for the feedback and thank you for confirmation that the sound is actually better Okay, let's go card number one 
No win. King of spades. Wait. Let's just see. King is Burgas. I mean, Johan is so unlucky with these draws. Eight of spades. Serdian. Not tonight. And number three. Ten of spades. Marco is getting 50 diamonds. And this guy deserves it. He deserves it. He's the big supporter of my channel. Thank you, Marco. Here we go. Lucky draw. And the second challenger for tonight is number five, David. Okay, bus 952. Number four is out. And that's Aldor. Number six is Jack of Spades. Peter is out. Number seven. Three of spades, Ivan, you were so close, lucky number seven. Number eight is four, Kevin is too close. And number nine, seven of spades, Chris is cat 26, 53. And guys, well, I will say it one more time later, but on first day I'm leaving to Pula Bridge Festival. So if you will be there, just come and, and join. We can we can talk. It's always great to meet some of you who are here on the chat. So I hope that I can meet Ivan there. But if anybody else is coming to Pula Bridge Festival, just let me know. And well, that means that first day, no live stream. Sorry, guys. Tuesday, no live stream. I'm actually driving Thursday night and coming back Tuesday night. So unfortunately, I'm missing two live streams. But then next week on Thursday, I will be back. So we'll enjoy again the teams. And you can see that there will be the stream when the tournament is on on Funbridge. So it's kind of related. And if you cannot see the stream and the tournament is on, then just let me know because something is wrong. Okay, well, that's said. We have the challengers I'm going to accept and we continue with number f board number four till the end of the match point tournament. I counted four twice, so Kevin is number nine actually. Oh, did I? Hmm. Yeah, okay, well, that's my mistake. You caught me! I deserve it. I deserve it. Okay, so it was Kevin and Chris as well. So Ivan just pushed me to play four challenges anyways. Okay, well, that's life. And we will have a little bit more bridge tonight. So let's go. Board number four. Four. And 13 high card points balanced. Standard bidding, red bidding and no trump. Yeah, uh, especially after a spade, two diamonds, partner, do I want to bid my five cards? At least five cards in clubs, and this denies four cards in hearts. Why is three diamonds? Wait, 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 do you see the description? The description says exactly four cards in clubs, between four and five cards in diamonds, but then the below at least five cards in clubs. So you see that it's just this is wrong. Okay, anyways, I'm betting two no trumps, and we just play free no. Everybody knows what I have. Well, I might have still four hearts, kind of. Okay, so which you to establish, spades or diamonds? Um, well, I would like to combine, so I would like to see what's, what's actually the signal here. See the nine, I mean, this is the fourth best, nine. That doesn't look that good. Nine and an eight. So spades are not splitting. So I need to play on diamonds. And I need... I need East to get to the trick. 
So, can I somehow catch these of hearts and exit with the diamonds? Then, no, I will not have entries to south. Okay, I like to win the 10. I don't like the 6, though. But, West played the 10. East played the 6. So, if he has a lower card, so he has like 6-3 or 6-4, that means West, if he has only a doubleton, it will be a low card. So now I can play two towards the eight. Three, give me the three. So then West has four cards in diamonds. Yeah, now I have to play the queen, unfortunately. So it seems... We are down three, four, five, six, seven tricks. Yeah. Okay, if West started with four hearts, four diamonds, four clubs, he had a singleton spade. How useful can that be? I might cash the hearts and exit with the hearts, try to and play them to give me the diamonds. like the jack I don't like this because now East is having two extra clubs and I'm going three down instead of two down yeah and could I have done anything no I should just cashed my seven tricks this was just too risky because the spades were off completely diamonds were off completely clubs as well so this was like a disaster unless I play the low heart at trick number one collect the nine with the ace and then play the eight of hearts and I will finesse both jack and the ten in heart so I could have scored four heart tricks one spade trick is five two diamond tricks is seven and one club is eight and maybe starting establishing the diamonds mm, at some point might be enough to throw in East to give me the spade trick or the club trick. So, I mean, the contract was there. From open cards, I think I can make three no trumps. Because once I get rid East from hearts and diamonds, so I play two from top. And I exit with the spade. He has to give me a spade or a club trick. Amazing. How, what you can do if you see the cards. Okay, here we go. 10% only. And another bottom and disasters for my score. I mean, if you score two bottoms in 10 boards, you cannot get to the top. Um, it's almost like no way. Of course, you can get eight top scores, but then uh, it's not very likely. So I missed 3% just for not cashing the top trick finding the way how to how to make well maybe maybe at some point it is possible but you have to duck the first heart which uh, in general might be a mistake uh, but how the cards slide was actually a good idea and then to play the heart another heart through next time i will be probably thinking more about it that i might be not ducking if you are missing ace sorry jack 10 9 and the six and the two of them might drop it's a chance and by the way it's relatively a solid chance six with jack ten or nine 
yeah, it's like not that bad. You see that going down one with for from whatever stupid contract is 78%. And if Peter, if you play two diamonds and mate for 93, well, that's just incredible. Anyways, another example that staying low uh, with those balance hands is a good idea. Number eight, eight balanced, sorry, board number five. I'm looking at eight high card points and then I'm counting them. Yeah, luckily I got used to play real bridge again. And I'm looking forward to more and more. That's fun. Okay, but I like playing here as well. So let's see how many tricks we can make in one no trump. Okay, let's work on clubs, but at the same time I want to work on spades. Opponents have hearts and diamonds. I don't have entries. So the goal is that I can establish two spade tricks and possibly two club tricks. The difference is that I always have to lose two spades, but I don't have to lose clubs. Maybe ducking one round of hearts. No, winning with the king, and they might be blocked if there is a doubleton queen with west. And if they are 4 free, I'm fine. So I want to start working on spades. Here we go, 9. That's really suspicious. Okay, high low. He has the queen, west has the queen. I want to win because I don't want to give them the free diamonds. Okay. So the seven is a winner. And now I have an entry. Trick number four, free. Trick number four, five, six. I have to play the club. I want West to cover. Ay, 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 ay. But the six can be from four. So with fourth queen, seeing the jack ten, he might not cover. But I mean, by ducking, they can casual the diamonds and spade, uh, diamonds and hearts. It's not good. We know that West is having the ace of diamonds, right? Um, well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. We know about the Queen of Hearts with West, so they still might be blocked. Yeah, I was afraid. I was afraid about this. Nice lead from free. Oh, now the diamonds might give me some tricks. Nope. Last trick. Do you see the last trick? Fortunately, I want them to play clubs now. Yeah, here we go. And two sevens. Unfortunately, I'm down. Otherwise, this would have been a really nice beer card. Okay, guys, well, uh, we have a visitor here, so now the one no Trump has to go uh, aside, and you can see that uh, one no Trump is actually the best match point contract, because you see that from eight tricks up to five tricks, and so much difference. Amishku, zabavaj, ahoj.
Ahoy. <laughs> okay, so Amanda is becoming more talkative here. So we will see in the future if she will be giving me some hints already also in the play. So, well, everything is improving. Uh, so we will play here for a while while you can watch the board number six. Balanced 14, 4 triple 3. I actually don't even want to bid spades. On the other hand, three small clubs. I prefer to declare from North's hand. And if we have a spade fit, maybe it might be better to play four spades. If partner has doubleton, okay, not anymore. Now I prefer to play for my queen 10 in hearts. So let's just go free no. Because with four triple three, I don't even want to be in five diamonds. Oh boy. Okay. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Contract making. Once again, all over about over tricks. So diamond finesse, club finesse. This is from Doubleton. Sorry, this is uh, the club is the lead from four, I guess, which means that East might have nine small, nine ten. So actually, then I'm ducking, then I'm ducking the five and the second trick because if East wins. Okay, I unblock. Uh, do I want to unblock? Not yet. I have plenty of entries to solve. Okay, and I like this. Nine. So he has queen. Queen eight. So let's see how we can squeeze them. Two and a four. Two and a four in spades. That might be five. So West had four clubs. Might have only three spades. So let's see one round. Yeah, I think West is having three and East is having five. So playing one more round of spades and then playing two hearts, I can end play West to get a diamond trick for sure. Yeah, I think that's that's the better play than playing the diamond finesse. Because this is almost guaranteed. And play. Here we go. One diamond discards. Two diamond discards. And give me the diamond, please. And a top score for throw, throw in. Because I don't think that anybody can make more than 11. So this should be a top score. Because the king is offside. Perfect. Some percentage back. Deto? Tak, řekni top score. Yeah, we were training here. We were training top score. Ještě jednou? Top score. Yeah, I don't know guys if you hear it, but now we can say a top score. Because well, in um, our household uh, here, this is something what we hear very often. Top score. Top score. Top score. <laughs> Yeah, okay, let's go. 10 high card points, semi balanced hand, both majors. 13, so definitely I'm opening this hand. I don't have a good rebid if partner, it's like two clubs. I'm not playing Drury, so most likely I would need to pass two clubs, which usually is 
shows six cards. But if Barnabas is a no trump, I can pass as well. So that's fine. All other bits are favorable for me. <laughs> this is also good. Because I can pass and partner can pass as well. Free clubs, free clubs. Okay. Okay. Now I have a terrible hand. Singleton. Diamond Queen is useless. Okay. I mean, partner, you just shoved six clubs. Why don't you bid two hearts with the doubles and queen? I mean, that's ridiculous. Okay, I win with the six. And do I cash the diamonds? I still have time, so I need to play the clubs. Okay, that's good. Now they will rough me the spade. But I don't mind if it is from length. We already have some. Ah. Rests mine. The king was offside, so couldn't do much. But I'm going. I'm down only 400, and they have what? Five diamond tricks. One heart trick is six. Two aces is eight. It's only 90. Guys, that's only 90. Yeah, so this wouldn't be good. Two hearts, not perfect. Two spades is the best. I mean, if North just take out doubles on two diamonds, I just bit two spades and then we, yeah, well, didn't hit the right spot with the double. Partner, of course, missed bit absolutely with those queens and six card, which he promised with the first bid. Yeah, well, 90 and that's, I was quite right, because minus 90 is for 60%, while minus 100 is for 44%, but see that there were quite a lot of players who scored minus 110 or minus 130, and all those small differences make like 12%, 15% difference in the final score. And, well, if my fault is opening this one hard, then I accept to be punished for 44% because next time we just earn if partner is not bidding like crazy and just correct to two hearts since he already showed six clubs. But once again, it's a setup. Maybe I should change and play with the field somehow like playing the jury convention. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I just don't like it. Sometimes if you don't like things, it's very hard to adjust and and just put it there. Although in the long run, playing with the computer, it might be the right thing. Still, probably not changing and hoping that in the long run, I will, I will keep winning with this. Okay, board number eight. 13, semi-balance. Singleton King, so four, five, six, seven theoretical losers. Definitely a minimum hand. Now, do I want to rebid no trumps or do I want to show my four clubs? Yeah, I have to play no trumps, it should be from north. So let's bid two clubs and pass two hearts. Two diamonds. Okay, I don't have anything, so let's just bid two hearts. I have a minimum. Shh. Partner, don't tell anyone. I have a minimum. But partner is having a forcing to game with a six card, and now I have four good honors, so we just raised him to four. Three no trumps might be the best bid here, but with three small diamonds, I definitely don't want to play from my side. Yeah, third queen, perfect. Anyway, the rest might be ours, but if we play three no trumps from north. Okay, small towards the king and diamond back. It wouldn't be good. I should have discarded the queen actually here. 
Because now we get a rough. Nope. Nope. I have to play low towards the king. And now, which suits to cross? West cash the ace of hearts. Why? I mean, do they have hearts? 5-1. I had 13. Partner had 12. It's 25, so they didn't have a bid. So, which suit is safer to cross? Uh, okay, so I cash the ace of clubs. They might give me them some signals. Five and a four. Okay, so West is having a even number of clubs. And East is having odd number of clubs. So now I'm safe. Because if I play the club and there are five, two, West will be roughing most likely from four. So actually now crossing with the club seems a bit safer. Don't tell me that's from Doubleton. Okay. See? So now, please. Would have been the hearts roughed? Okay, I've got the rest, right? Would have been the hearts roughed? No. So crossing with the heart was safer at this point. But... I mean, if you have the chance, then just uh, check this, because it was so suspicious that West is ha cashing these hearts. The true thing is that if they think that they have the heart rough, they would have played uh, the heart. So anyway, they had three diamonds to cash and the ace of hearts. So I think this should be a good score anyways. Score 81% for four spades. And well, I was thinking that three of trumps is better, but since everybody's declaring from south and you get the diamond lead through the queen, they cash four diamonds and the ace of hearts, so you are down immediately. Even if they don't cash them, they have the second chance while the ace of hearts is on the wrong side. So if they lead a club or a heart or whatever, and then they switch to diamonds. Three of Trumps is down, still 39 players made, but 420 as a, is a bit more. So I'm very happy about this one at the end. And this should be super easy because either we have nine tricks or we don't. So it's very simple. Do you don't? Five? No, actually not. Barton is having a minimum, and the doubleton queen, and they have the ace of uh, ace of diamonds to cash. Wait. Okay. We have a chance. Five, six, seven. Now I actually wants to play the jack. Heart. Nope. No, 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 no. Should I have cashed my five clubs? Probably I should have cashed my five clubs because then East could have discarded a spade. At least I will have seven tricks. Now it's a disaster. Oh boy. Okay, let's not waste the time. They had what? Six spades? Um, okay, I don't want to count that. I'm annoyed. Three down. Maybe I should have crossed with the club and then played the nine of diamonds through. Could have been better to steal the trick. This way, like playing the jack, that's probably not right, playing the jack. 
I think that's super strange. I don't want it to show my points. Should have crossed with the club, because clubs were there. I should replay if there is a way how they might misguess. Yeah, and here we go. 39%, but just, guy, look. Look there, because if I just cashed my 7 tricks from top, which I had, that would be 84%. So I just threw away 4.4% by not cashing my tricks. And this is so important. And imps, I wouldn't matter that much, you know? I will just try and make. But in match points, well, you should just cash your 5 clubs. And if they are not discarding any spades, you might just cash the last heart and then exit with the diamond. Yeah, very important to learn from, from this board. And, well, if you're playing a weak no-trump and you somehow manage to play only one no-trump, even score 11 tricks, that's incredible. But 9 tricks are going down one in one no-trump. Not cashing 7 tricks from top is 91%. That's just hilarious. Okay, well, match points, cash your tricks. of the tournament, 12 high card points, another semi-balanced hand, so right now I can say that we didn't have that many interesting hands, but in match points every hand is interesting, so let's see, I mean I don't like it, I want to play no trumps from my side, if we don't, I even don't like to open, well this is match points, I really don't like to open. Maybe partner opens strong no trump. But then I have the doubleton king, so... And the doubleton jack. So kind of wants to play. Bad space, though. If I pass, partner opens a club. I bid a spade. Partner bids no trump. Then he's declaring. But after one spade, partner bids two clubs. Yeah, I probably want to play from my side. Which I might not this way. Yeah, two clubs. Now I have to bid two diamonds. Maybe I should have bid two spades. I don't know. Two hearts. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I uh, bid two spades. I don't know. Three diamonds. That's a strong race. Our partner must have some hearts because he is, doesn't have a spade fit. Five, five, two, one. I mean, if partner has like six, four, two, one, we might lose two hearts, and I just need ace, ace, king. But who wants to play? Who wants to play five in a minor? Yeah, but let's do it. What did I promise? I already showed the minimum? No. So I need to show my minimum. Let's go five diamonds. I don't know. I've got the feeling. What? Four triple three? Sorry, four triple three. Well, this looks like four triple three. I mean, first of all, this is not forcing to game. That's 11 count. Partner, we are opening from 11. 11 opposite 11 is not forcing to game. Second thing, why do you just bid two hearts and not two no trumps? I have absolutely no idea. Okay, well, this is a little bit helpful. So now we need the king of diamonds on side. Okay. And now we need spades 3-3. Free free. I don't like the 8. He doesn't have the 10. I 
He said he doesn't have a 10. I mean, who plays 8 when he has the 10? Obviously, it's a 4 card. But who does that? Who does these things? Oh, boy. I don't have entries to south. Okay, so if I cash 1... I rough the spade, I cross, I rough, it's not working. So what I need is establishing the clubs through the trumps and play the hard finesse. That's what can work. Okay, the nine drops. The nine drops, very important. Hmm, okay, so there is one diamond with West. If West has two spades, three diamonds, five hearts, he's having three clubs. So if I play the club towards the ace and a club, East has to play the jack, I will rough. How about if I play a spade and North roughs? West will discard the club, so the ace of clubs club is not working. Wow! Is there a chance that they sp spades still split 3 free? So if I play this, because he played 8 and 10, I mean. Can't be, right? Okay, then West might have four, or what? Unbelievable! They are free free! We're home! And I don't need to just do anything else. Okay, but is five diamonds better than three no trumps? If space splits free free, well I'm losing two tricks there. If they play, it depends. Where is the Queen of Hearts? If the Queen of Hearts is with West, we are in trouble since five diamonds will be worse. If the Queen of Hearts... Yeah, and it's third. It's third, but I have absolutely no idea. They are always covering. But they don't cover the nine with the ten. I mean, I could have just dug the nine around the table. I could have. I mean, phew. okay, so what do I collect here? 11 opposite terrible 12. I made a game in 5 in a minor. So come on, give me at least 60%, please. Yeah, well, I didn't get my 60%, but it was really close. So, I mean, I I get it. Luckily, there were some players who didn't reach a game um, on this board, two new trumps. And I mean, I don't mind to miss a game on this, like, terrible hand. King of Diamonds was on side, Ace Queen of Hearts was on side. Like, the rest somehow behaving, spades 3-3. Free, free. See that in three no trumps, like a standard contract, I could have scored 82% for just playing the cards right. So... For me, this tournament was kind of a disaster. Uh, like two bottoms, well, a couple of 40%, or even like this, this one could have been extra 2%. At the end, scoring almost 57%, I mean, I'm super happy. Because it could have been way worse. Luckily, there are a couple of top scores, uh, which enlightened my mood, and I could have kept playing further but well I played the teams and it was not good as well and I think um, also the font here is a little bit different from before at least on my computer so obviously there is an update and today I was quite struggling with Arjun's defense 
and also something else so that you might see actually tomorrow tomorrow morning on my youtube ch channel there will be a challenge against Norwald Tion Ascraft here as the winner of the Czech Federation tournament so check it out tomorrow on my youtube channel in the morning central european time and join the Czech Federation tournaments as well and well share in the chat if you are spotting also some different behavior from uh, from the other tournaments or from playing before 10 boards usually is not enough to figure that out congrats to eugene m with 80 percent just an incredible score well you can do it i'm not saying easily you can never score 80 or 70 percent easily but if you are if it is your lucky day like it was uh, for me on first day then you can just hit all the jackpots misclicking opening one no trump ending up a uh, low level uh, or not bidding the slams just be passive and score over 70 percent ari blast second 76 and crooks that's the winner of 50 diamonds with almost 74 percent so we just go to the friends list and have a look confirmation here that aldor as moonwolf winning 50 diamonds here as player number uh, or friend number three in the ranking Yatsek and Jerome just beaten him and then we can check the list of the other players who managed to beat me and just put one win to the challenge Alice here well congrats Alice great score Rose here that's that's from the ladies what do we have here Okay, and the others, Matea, 55, nice, Norwald, Reiners, Nikos here, Michael, everybody above 50%, and that's about it. We'll not go anywhere lower in the ranking, not to show your scores if you don't like that. If you like that, just let us know what was your score, but we already heard we already heard that some players didn't do very well tonight okay so as the third challenger we have Matea here as Ruxandra so Ruxi Ruxi let's see 57% and plus 1.02 imp average well that's a decent score here on Funbridge 19,000 boards so that's experience best results series 5 so currently inactive this is something about Ruxandra from Saint Mandrier France so let's check and this will be our first challenge so let's go and guys you promised that you will be giving me bad hints well we will see you know I probably find out you're giving me bad hints but we will see and we start with a huge hand 23 but two, four, six, seven, seven quick tricks, seven top honors. Yeah, this is not 22, 23, this is 24 and more. So let's see, let's open this two diamonds. After two diamonds, we will hear three diamonds if partner has the diamond ace. But I more like think that partner is two hearts, will be two no trumps. Partner ask for the full card major. We say that we don't have anything and we will be playing free no trumps. So this is the standard thing what will happen. And if something is different, then you know, then we start thinking. Otherwise, we just bid what we have. Okay, partner transferred. But uh, for me, accepting the transfer, that's with free card. So here I have to bid free no trumps. To show that I have only a doubleton. So partner knows we don't have a full fit. And this was not a statement but transfer. So very similar what we expected. Partner has queen jack 10 there. They are giving me the diamond trick. So at this moment all is good. And we will be close to 11 tricks. And not much happens here. Okay, crossing with the club, playing the spade towards the 10, just in case there's king-queen in spades with east or a doubleton honor with east. 
This is giving us a chance to discard the fourth diamond. Okay, not happening. Uh, here we go, diamond. Okay, diamond behind. Uh, no squeeze because we don't have communication. So I'm just trying to cash the spade if the king drops. King is not dropping. So I'm just giving up, claiming 10 tricks. So we speed up this, I would say on the first point, not interesting board. Yeah, zero. So let's see what is Rook Sandra's approach. So she probably, well, she might either have the two clubs only, or she might have both. So we will see maybe later, or uh, Rook Sandra can tell us what she has here. If she has also both setups. But otherwise, it was basically the same bidding. Uh, just maybe showing a little bit different point count range. Wow, and this might be interesting. Okay, so I just put down my headphones. And we can focus. And now I don't hear myself so if everything will be wrong with the sound just let me know guys now I cannot check but what's the approach we have three four five five top owners if partner is not balanced then we should have a slam if partner is balanced well 17 opposite 12 14 mm. I think not yet. So let's see. I think after two clubs, two no trumps will show the balance hands. Yeah, 12 15. So I don't think that we should try. Because we might not even have the diamond fit. So right now I just have to go three no trumps. I don't want to try. Although the slam might be really close, but we need aces and the minor jacks. We have Queen Jack, that's fine. We have the hearts. We have the spades. We could have roughed a couple of things there or there. So six diamonds seems like an interesting contract. Anyway, I think I'm fine in free now here. Just let's not not risk without a need. Seven of diamonds. Anyway, I have to play the diamond to north. Because west might have a singleton, but he played low high. Okay, so they split. I can play what? Probably the club finesse seems to be better. I can catch one heart first to see if I can catch both. It's always better to push them discarding before you try something funny yeah and I just play the jack and duck it around the table and if not then we have a potential squeeze there okay now let's watch if they discard any clubs Branduza welcome Brandy baby here we go one club One spade, two spades. So let's cash the club. There's still the ten of clubs. And that was a high low. And that's a ten. So I think east was squeezed. West had four spades. He discarded one, so west is left with two spades. East is left with a club and a spade maybe two clubs he discarded one one spade only right so let's let's play for the squeeze queen he was squeezed 
Awesome. Great play here for 12 tricks and an imp. And an imp. So that was a very tough play, Ruxi here. So I understand that you might not pull this off. And the same bidding. Same thing there, I guess. Diamond towards the queen. So that's a standard play. No worries. But this was uh, not trying with the jack of clubs. That actually won me the thing. Okay. Well, 7 nothing. We just wait what's happening. Three no trumps with a fit. Four spades. And we have a spade trick, hopefully. We have a diamond trick. And now I would like to get a club rough. Partner is short in spades, so trying to give partner a hard rough, that's not very likely. Unfortunately, in clubs, I need, if we have a rough, if partner has an ace, I need him to duck. Okay, he might have the dub, uh, king queen there. And declare is trying, probably, to discard a club on a heart. That would be a good thing, unless. You try the spade finesse. So now show me. Win, 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 king, king. Oh, seven. But that's bad news because the third round of clubs will be wrapped with east. Too sad. Ah, it was close. It was close. Anyway, what was it? Five spades. He roughed one. So how about the diamonds? I still have a discard on the ace of hearts. And he might have ace jack. Bah, bah. He has everything. Now, the jack of hearts is with north. So we just needed the jack of diamonds. Ah, this was a close defense there. I mean, partner didn't need it to have six. And a tie. Well done. So far, very tight. So that squeeze might make the difference. Okay, 18 balance. We just go standard. Unfortunately, I would need to bid... I, would, I wanted to say one spade after one heart. Now I just bid free no trumps. What else can we do here? So we are playing in tempo, which I like. Spade is not um, anything which will harm me much. But what will if they switch to hearts? So let's hope that they keep playing the spades. Come on, I need to establish a lot of club tricks. Partner has a garbage, or I need them to play two honors in one. Okay, this doesn't seem to be from King Queen. Would you play from King Queen small? So we just hope that West is having the Ten of Hearts. Okay, that's good. That's good. So far, everything's working. Seven, we can duck. And we have an entry. Oh, he jumped from third. And now they gave me a hard trick. I mean... Rooksy, I'm really sorry. This is going my way. Okay, I just discard one diamond. And there will be something funny going on as well here. Ten of diamonds. So let's cash one spade there. Maybe even two spades. Which suit do I want to cross with? I think... Okay, so we are squeezing east, which has a spade. West should have a heart. And both might be holding diamonds. So this is a double squeeze. 
So then I need to cash the Queen of Spades first. And now on the last club, they will be both squeezed. So another great example of the squeeze. So one challenge, already two squeezes. So look, so West, West is keeping the top heart. East is keeping the top spade. And both my ha might have the Queen of Diamonds and actually two diamonds. So now I'm playing the club and East has to make a decision. He discarded a spade. By the way, isn't it like they have one more spade? I was not paying attention. Ah, see? With squeezes you have to watch. You have to watch. I mean... There was the jack, but I, di I didn't see the 10. I think the 10 is still out. So then East was already squeezed before and discarded a diamond. Discarded too many diamonds. Yeah, Kevin is with me. He thinks that he has another spade. I think he has the 10. Okay, so we just discard the spade. And now West was squeezed. Come on. Eight. Queen. And what? What is the best way to play a squeeze and end up winning Diamond 7? And the beer! Okay, well, that's the board. That's what I'm talking about. Tum 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 tum. Okay, so what happened there? One no trump with 18 and north passed. Well, when I will see the hand, I will be super happy that I'm playing one no trump. But, since I play the jack and this guy just nervously jumps with third king, which is, by the way, ridiculous. But see, they are covering an honor with an honor. And then another owner dropped. They couldn't they couldn't harm me at all. I mean Yeah, lucky. Lucky from my side, but the squeeze. See? Seven tricks, eleven tricks. That's a difference. Yeah. Planned seven from the start for the squeeze. Awesome. From the beginning, I don't think that if you ask players if, what, if, if you actually score three diamond tricks, I don't think that people will say you can unless you play, uh, you play the diamond finesse. Okay, 10, 6, 3, 3, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, theoretic losers. This is kind of too strong for two spades, especially non-vulnerable. But Arjun is not making differences. Yeah, I mean, Rook C, this was quite unlucky. Because if the defenders were doing a little bit better, I would just score like minus 100 or what is it? No, non-vulnerable. No, vulnerable. Minus 100 or 200. So you could have one five or seven on that one. Okay, um, let me know. One spade all day, Ivan. Yeah. We have we have a rebid. So I rebid two spades. And then if anything, I probably rebid three spades. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we rebid two spades. Three spades. Yeah, well. Right now I'm not feeling that I have that much extra. But I have extra. I have a club shortness. King. So do we try for a slam? I mean, we are non-vulnerable. So somehow I can afford to go down to lose minus 11. But this is not what the stream is about. Try to win all the challenges. It's about playing good bridge. So what do you think? Yeah, Kevin thinks that the hand is better than it looks. Agree. But is it good enough? 
to Qubit here. Barton will most likely have five diamonds. So on diamonds we can throw away a heart. So if Barton has King of Spades, Ace of Hearts, and King Queen in Diamonds, 5, 8, 12 high card points, and we're a little bit lucky. No, wait, uh, I need I need more. 3, 4, I need 5 top owners. If I'm covering 5 partners losers, I think we should be thinking out of the way around. We have longer trumps, so we should be thinking losers. And we need partner to cover us kind of 6. But we know that the heart we might discard on a diamond. Yeah, partner is unlimited. But I mean, if he has enough for, for a slam, he should go himself, right? Okay, see? Six diamonds. This bit shows the contract which seems the best to be played. Mm, I think spades are better. First of all, they pay more. Second of all, if you have three spades, I have to play the spade finesse anyways. And I want to protect my heart king. So six spades it is. Kevin thinks it was worth a club queue? Maybe. See? Club club. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, um, just in case I need entries to north. But see, this is what we needed from partner. And if partner has it, partner just keeps bidding. We already did the job. See, partner has very similar, actually exactly the same hand as I have, but extra diamond on her. Yeah, can I claim already? This is not worth the play. I probably need to cash one more diamond so he knows the diamonds are splitting. If not, we can rough it, and that's why I kept the Ace of Hearts in North. And still, I will, even with the rough, I will have two discards to make 13 tricks. <laughs> if my partner bid like that, I think it's a Grand Slam. Nah, well, partner thinks we have 12 count, we have 10. So, sometimes, you just need to be humble here. Okay, Ruxandra was not coming, and that's the two spades, two spade opening, and then four spades. I'm just wondering if you bid, if you bid three hearts. So let's replay. So once again, a little bit unlucky here, but if we bid two spades, partner bid two no, and we bid three hearts. Is, pa it's, is partner taking over? Three spades, game forcing bid, four clubs, Q bid. Now I have super maximum. Four hearts, four spades. If partner is inviting me to a slam and I have this for two spades, I will keep bidding. So, Rooksy, for the next time, I understand that now you, after two no trumps, you just wanted to bid four, sp four spades. I totally understand. But showing partner that we have a maximum uh, now might help to reach. Anyway, obviously, club qubit, heart qubit is not enough. Uh, we just need to take the initiative later on. You think that partner would sign off if he doesn't have a club control? Maybe. Maybe, Ivan, you are right. Okay, well, that was very interesting, uh, great, great hands, very educative, so thank you, Ruxi, to get the courage, and I hope that I will see you more often on the list, because uh, you did great, you were a bit unlucky there and there uh, with those decisions, but otherwise it was a great game. Okay, let's continue with Chris, we have, or I have five wins and six losses there. 
So let's see if we can tie this up. Okay, 11. Definitely too balanced with the queens and opponents opening diamond. So let's just wait. Do we keep waiting? I mean, they're vulnerable. So if Barton has values, so we can make a contract on second level. I don't think that they're making one, O Trump. So let's try to defend and collect 100. Okay, now we know that West from the lead. No, I have attitude lead, so partner still might have a five card. Let's hope Arden has the Jack of Spades. If he has the King, it will be just too many high card points wasted. Too many high card points wasted, partner. Okay, at least we have a winner. We have a winner. Yeah, I think I can play the Jack. So there are five, spo five points there. Oh, maybe I should have jumped. I didn't do the analysis right away. There were five diamond tricks. Sorry, um, five spade points. Ace of clubs, that's nine. King of diamonds is already 12. So he cannot have the ace or king of hearts. So the rest should be ours. Now Parn is discarding winners. <laughs> Parn is really discarding winners. Okay. That's it. Are we still playing? Why are we still playing? Parn already discarded a top winner. Okay. So partner discarded the king because he hoped I have the queen and the player has the jack. When you have all winners, interesting. Plus three, two clubs. See, you managed to make nine tricks in two clubs, but instead of 110, I just collected easily eight tricks in no trumps, winning three. So there is no need always to win the contract because, yeah, if you win and partner is having a maximum, then most likely one of Trump is going down. Okay, one heart, pass, two hearts. Yeah, I want to compete. But I'm afraid that if I double, that we just end up in four spades. Chat, what do you think? What do you think? Do you double? Do you bet two no trumps? Or do you just pass? In match points, I don't know what I will do. In match points, I double. But right now, most likely if I pass, West just raises. And if not, partner is having four hearts. Double at other vulnerabilities. Ruxi and Marco are passing. Ivan, of course, aggressive doubling. Yeah, it's like really on the edge. We don't have that many tricks. Simon is doubling, so we have 2-2. Two, two. And David is doubling. Okay, so now it's 3 against 2 plus Kevin, so it's somehow 4 against 2. So let's see if the chat is right. If we're playing 4 space doubled or not. Okay, luckily not. 
Now we get a spade lead and the disasters. Okay, Moonwolf, so there was 4-3. Okay, hard lead. Uh, Barton did a good job not to lead the spade. But I mean, do I cash the king? I guess not. I just play... I just play the spade. I don't like to play the five. But, I mean, yeah. What can we do? I don't think that they will discard anything. Let's dump the spades and win the Ace of Diamonds later. Partners got the trump. Awesome. Oh wait. Hearts are trumps. Not awesome. Not awesome. Just standard. But we couldn't do anything here. We won the spade, we won the diamonds and the hearts. Yeah. I hope not much is happening here. So let's see what Chris did. And Chris doubled as well. Okay. Not that anything will happen. West really has the 4 hard bid. But sometimes by bidding you show them where are the points. And because they might have been well positioned for them. Now they might improve the hand and just bid the game. So that's another thing where you need to think twice. If you show the points or not. So it's not just that it's dangerous to double, that if you overbid you get doubled for a million, but also showing the information for the defense or decision making for positioning. That might be the key. Now see the positioning is good for us. We have the clubs and hearts behind. Pardon leads a diamond to our queen. And then we can make a decision if to play the spades through or if to return the diamonds and even better pardon place the spades immediately okay I like to duck the first one let them cross four and a seven pardon has the nine Pardon, give me the nine. Ah. Okay. What could we do? Not much, right? Not much. I could, I could have won. I could have played. If I won and play the spade, he wins, give me the club and I don't have an entry to north with the diamond. So I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I lose an imp, because Wes would need to duck one round of spades. At least he didn't finesse my queen of diamonds, so at the end, yeah, I'm losing an imp. For ducking, so let's see, same bidding, queen of spades, discarded the nine. Ducking as well, ducking as well, ducking as well, but now... West wins with the ace. Why not play the nine? I mean, why? Why? Okay, Arjun is not with me today. I mean, I I have witnessed today so many things like this. And it was against me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So jumping with the ace of clubs. Uh, he played the nine with me. Okay, okay, okay. No worries, we got it covered. Another play for Overtrix and maybe another squeeze coming. Nope. Barton has garbage and I need to throw in West. So I have to win this one. The Jack drops. That's a good thing there. Because this can be a singleton. Now, who do I want to throw in? Yeah, still I think I want to throw in West. Because the heart is fine. I can just win, but the spade as well. So I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And later on I will stand in front of a decision if it will be a diamond. Finesse, or if it will be a spade finesse. And I can squeeze east a little bit, right? Do we tease him? We tease him for one extra trick. And I will still keep an end play with the four of clubs. Six of spades. So now let's hope that west had two clubs only. Okay, no worries. No worries. Spade three, six, seven, eight. I think we should be we should start being worried. Anyway, it didn't matter what do we do because I always have to lose three clubs. How many boards did I play? Let's see. 15, 25, 40. 40 plus these challenges. So 40 without these challenges. So at the end it will be 60. At the end of the day it will be 60 boards today. Okay, well... Let's just give them the clubs. Maybe they cash it. Because every imp counts. Five of spades and a diamond. Yeah. Okay, let's um, give them the two hearts. And the squeeze is coming. The squeeze is coming because West West has the Jack of Spades. East is having the top club. So we just discard the club. And let's see. Is discarded the 10. So if I dump the spade, then we know what's happening, right? West will play the spade. Yeah, but I have to win. No, I can actually duck. I have the ace of spades. So easy. Easy two down. See, this time it will work to open my 15 as 12, 14. But suddenly, whenever I do that, I'm punished, so I'm not doing it anymore. See, I will be not punished now. Because if I open this one diamond, partner bits a hard and I bid a no trump, I most likely play one no trump. And score seven tricks, being happy. Anyway, see? That one extra squeeze for two imps. Securing the lead, 5-1. One. one board to go. Okay, 10. Let's wait. Barn opens heart. 
No, they open a heart. So now we have a good end. We start doubling. And we overbid. And defend three hearts. Nope. Perfect. Two spades should be fine. It should be, but it's not. Okay, so let's wait. East has to play something. Six and a ten. So diamonds are free free. We're preparing the diamond seven. Clubs are free free. So if East had five hearts, three clubs, three diamonds. That means only two spades. And that's not good. Let's see if he jumps with queen. He does. Okay, the second spade. That's fine. Unfortunately, I have to play the jag here. And... Somehow... I have to rough this one. Cash the ace. Drop the king. Play the ten. Dump a diamond. Or a rough. Cash the king. Unfortunately I have to discard the diamond. And that's so sad. Because this guy had a heart. So if I play the diamond, he wins with the queen. I would need him to play the trump so I can score the diamond seven. Nope. He had four diamonds. Then I made a mistake. Was the seven a winner? No, it was not. Pity. So diamonds were not free free. And I'm down one vulnerable. And a victory! Plus three! Two spades doubled! Wow, that must have been a thrilling game, Chris, right? One heart double, pass, one spade, pass, pass, north doubles. For penalties, I guess. We have no idea. Yeah, penalties, forcing pass, after passed hand, with nine high card points. That's just crazy. Anyways, what will happen actually? It's like not that bad. Two spades, three clubs, and a heart. Two hearts doubled will win, Chris. Two hearts double. Penalties on the second level. Oh wow. That's harsh. I mean, guys, would you pass a penalty double with this hand, with the south hand, when partner is a passed hand? I don't think so. But it's the right decision. Spade towards the ace, club towards the queen, and a diamond. Then if they unblock with the diamonds, you win the second round of spades and exit with the heart. And you just wait for the heart trick, free club tricks. Oof. Oof. So that was close. Anyway. Nice challenge, 8-1, okay, um, forgetting to write it there, so 8-2-1, Mata was a little bit more, not repeating the score, and we have Buzz and David here, so let's go Buzzy, 4-2-4, let's go, let's decide who will take the lead. 16 balanced, easy. Easy. Is that a lesson? 
Lesson for what? Like passing risky doubles on the second level in imps? No. That's not a lesson. J let's just don't do that. Okay, now we have a hard loser and club or two club losers. So I guess not much is happening here. So let's just draw the trumps and try to establish the clubs. I have enough entries, hopefully. Okay, 11 tricks. Easy start. Sorry if I'm too fast, but I mean there might be more interesting boards than this one. This was like an auto play since they lead a trump. If they lead a spade, it might be a different story actually. So the hard lead helped a lot. David got the same lead, so very easy to play. 10. By the way, guys, speaking about the lessons, I think that I will restart playing on BBO with, uh, with those who are interested uh, to just uh, call and play with human players. Then uh, we will start hopefully at the end of September when I come back from Pula. So the week after, although there is another holiday, I don't know. Anyway, since I'm playing golf Wednesday morning, um, it seems like uh, we will move to Wednesday afternoon, which might be a little bit worse for the guys from Australia, but it actually might be a little bit better for the guys from uh, eastern coast of US so we might have somebody else joining Europe if it is morning or afternoon well we will see I'll just give give the times a little bit later uh, because still I have to figure out what will be my year schedule here with uh, teaching the kids uh, having having some uh, trainings with the talented ones and having my own trainings with my partner and connecting with golf streams and uh, with Amanda's ten dance to the nursery school so a lot a lot to combine there okay free no trumps and I just don't like what's happening I don't like what's happening. Okay, let's hope that they just catch four club tricks. Can that be a lead from six? Can that be a lead from four small? Yeah, I don't know. It's just fourth best, right? So what do I have? Four, five, six, seven. I have seven tricks. So I would need to guess the diamonds. Let's just play the queen because because it can work because it can work can okay, maybe we can just and play them so let's catch the spades to gather a little bit more info Oh, three of diamonds. Who discards three of diamonds from third queen? Nobody, right? Nobody. In this case, nobody. They see the five diamonds. Yeah, easy. So that's why you should always catch the side suit if you can afford it, if you don't need the entries. Because suddenly if they discard a club or if they don't discard a diamond, 
I could have just exited with the club and wait, you know? This is not a game for over tricks if you are on a tight or... Wait, I have only 11 tricks. If you are on a tight game, you better uh, be sure that you take as many chances as possible. And this was the lead from free small. Oh wait, West open a club, I forgot. Oh guys, I absolutely forgot. See, I'm a little bit tired. Luckily, I'm just covering honors with honors. Okay, yeah, a tie. See, well, every slip against David will be tough there. So that's why I'm speeding up a little bit. Because the later it gets, the more difficult it will be. Guys, is this a reopen? We're vulnerable. East doesn't have a response to one club. We're balanced. Let me know. Help me to think how David is thinking or what most likely David will do here. Chris, one no Trump. Hmm. Interesting. Partner could have overcalled. That's right. So if partner has an opening with a five card major, he could have overcalled. So, I mean, it's not very likely that we have a major fit. It's actually more likely that they might have a hard fit. And East is too weak to bid. And West is having 18-20 balanced. And if Pardon doesn't have a takeout double on clubs, that means that he might have some clubs himself. So, Chris is bidding 1-0 Trump. Kevin is passing. Marco is doubling. So, three players, three different bids not helping guys it's not helping okay anyway uh, okay Erica is passing and I think this is the first comment Erica so let's go <laughs> David can help sure you can and I'll just follow Erica because I think that's a strong feeling if Erica commented this one that's a strong feeling so let's follow that suggestion Okay, I like the dummy. I don't like the lead though. Because that's giving an entry. Okay, I have to win the trump. Okay, now partner's winning. Okay, so now we get a rough. Perfect. Now I can what? Now I can cash the clubs. And play the spade through. Because I think the 8 will be a winner. Maybe I was too premature with cashing. North discarded the spade already. Oh boy. Yeah, it didn't matter. Making. Could we have done anything? Minus three. One club beating. So where did I make a mistake? By not forcing him? Yeah, I, I needed to give partner a diamond uh, promotion. I was not thinking. See, I was just playing. And that's... That's a problem. Oh, no, wait. That's the difference. This is the difference. After winning the ace, North didn't give David a hard rough. He cashed the ace of diamonds first and then gave him a club rough. So now it's much easier to catch the king of diamonds. Now he played the spade. But now he has still time to play the king of diamonds. No. So now, if Declare just played the low club, he wins. 
but instead he plays the queen. Okay. Tough one. Rook C was 1-0 no Trump. So what was the right decision, by the way? Barton has 11 full full majors. So we're losing club, two hearts, and a spade. Double was the best. Instead of 50, we could have scored 110. Maybe even 140. Dreads. Yeah, dreads. Minus 3. See? So who was that? 1 0 Trump. Yeah, 1 0 Trump might not have been that bad either. No, don't apologize, Erika. I, will, I wanted to pass as well. I think in general that's a right decision to pass. Um, double and 1 0 Trump was trying to look for a jackpot, which this time would have worked because Barton has 11 count. So his maximum hand for not take out doubling and full full majors. So yeah, just don't don't worry about that. Let's don't worry. I was just teasing you. I was all for pass as well. But if there will be the chat and everybody says double, I double. Now I don't have to ask to raise to four spades. At least I hope. But since the chat was all like not decided. Okay, all clubs. All spades. And if spades break, I will get it a rough. So let's hope that spades break. And I don't need to play the diamond there. Come on. Yeah, that's fine. So we can play a diamond for an over trick. Or how about catching the king that the queen drops? Because that guy discarded so many diamonds. But if it happens... Yeah. Okay. Both behind, so uh, hardly it's beating it. I mean, they beat both hearts. So they try to lead a singleton. It gave it away! So how about that, David? Did you get a favorable lead as well, or what? Oh, he does. He does. Yeah, same bidding, standard, lead from a singleton. This guy has a 5-5. Five, five. Hardly just beats it. King of hearts, hard towards the ace. Diamond through. Easy. Okay, minus 3. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't like to manipulate the chat, but I like if you are guys participating and sharing your opinions because it's interesting for everyone. No matter what opinion it is, if it is like your opinion, it's good to know what the majority thinks in various cases. And this is actually something what I'm learning from. You know, because when you are playing at a festival or somewhere where you don't know the field, you just need to know what the general, what the majority of players thinks. And since we have the wide range of experience here and skill, uh, we get about, I think, good proportion of decisions what you might face at a festival for example in Pula although Pula Bridge Festival is like a higher level festival and of in the matter of player skills a lot of Polish players usually but a lot of top players from Netherlands 
Belgium, Czech Republic comes there as well. Okay, how about this? 15 high card points, partner raises to show extras. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we need 4. We try to pin the diamond queen. Four diamonds, four diamonds. But how about free spades? Free spades is just showing the fit. Yeah. But if we have a club there, what do we need? Ace, ace, king, ace. Yeah. Or ace, ace, ace. Ace, 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 actually in clubs, might be enough. And Queen of Diamonds, a little bit of luck. So now Chris and Kevin are bidding for diamonds. So how about the rest of the chat? Simon, welcome. You are just coming in time to share what is your opinion, if we should qubit or not. Rooks is for diamonds. Okay, well the wall chat so far is for diamonds. Let's go for diamonds. Mm, now we have one key card. Is that enough, partner? Okay, it is enough. Queen of Trumps and King of Spades. If partner has four aces, we might have a grand. But let's settle down there. Okay, so C, club. If the king is an ace, it will be interesting, Grant. Now it's not an interesting small slam after that lead. It will be a little bit more interesting if they lead a club. Wait, I'm not thinking. Every imp counts. No, this is board number five. The game is over. This is all about if David bids the slam or not. The over trick might not matter. And I have unfortunately only one discard. So at the end. No! It works! It works for the over trick. I just had to unblock the diamonds. Because we had the discard. And this is actually what happened to me when I played in Riga. This, uh, well, let's say an easy, easy play. This is not easy at all that you need to realize that you establish the spades and then the club you discard from north and not like from south. So you play reverse dummy. Okay, plus one for that extra over trick, but losing a challenge. And David is taking the lead. Congrats, David. Writing it down one against three imps. See, and that's all in one club. <laughs> Who would think that one club is deciding point of who wins the challenge okay i i should have beaten that should have i should have been thinking a little bit more seriously and try to think that there might be the diamond promotion um that was my mistake so i take the loss i need to focus a little bit more next time to tie again okay kevin Last challenge, and it's not yet 10 p.m. And we have a great fit. Okay, so let's see if partner has actually extra. That's a cubit. Ace, king, and diamonds. I cannot, I cannot 
figure that out. Do I? <laughs> Thanks, fellow cheddars. You think that they, they helped? Yeah, they were good helpers to both of us. I just go six. I don't know. I mean, partner must have an ace. And what else? I mean, if I ask for key cards, we don't hear anything. Partner bit a cubit. Let's hope it's a singleton. Let's double to an ace. But we've got the diamonds. So this slam is based on a finesse. And I have played worse. I have only two discards on clubs. Unless something crazy happens, right? And since I have to lose... Wait, I need to get rid... I need to get rid of the diamond as well. So this might be not that easy. But imagine... That... King-Queen drops? No. Owner 10 drops. <sighs> yeah, I mean, maybe roughing the diamond is just easier than trying to discard free diamonds from Northern clubs. What would need to happen? I mean, they cover the 9 with the 10 and then something drops? No. I think that's not the case. Now let's watch. 3 of diamonds. King loses. Down 1. I think Kevin will be there as well, so this will be a tie. Based on a finesse, it's not that bad. Well, finesse and a little bit, so that's a little bit worse. Because I needed either the third king of diamonds dropping or diamond splitting for free and being able to rough, or that I just rough high and then the heart splitting. Stop fighting. Clubs are free, free, but it's not helping. I have to rough one, and then I have only two discards, so I have to play the diamond finesse anyways. Ah, ah! Like really, Kevin? See, just give partner the king of diamonds instead of queen jack. I would love to play the slam. Trats. Minus 13 first board. The quick and the dead. Yeah, that was it. One down is no down. Yeah, well, it's minus 13. And we are going into another hell. Okay, luckily... Luckily, partner is not bidding a major. Otherwise, I mean... We have... Golden hand. How about now? Let's bid a no trump. It's 1819, but well. Two clubs. Yeah, partner has six. Partner has six. But partner has. What was two clubs? Non-forcing. 10 points. I promised 18, 19. So in which world? This is like non-forcing. Luckily it probably works out. Because Freno Trumps is not there. I I hope. Because Spade lead. If East gets to the trick with the club. They just play the Spade through. Okay, now what do we want? 
We want to win the diamond seven. Five of diamonds, two of diamonds. Okay, that's fine. Now we want him to win. Spade through. Okay. I don't mind that. Okay. I have to rough that. Now probably I made a mistake. Not probably, I made a mistake. Yeah, but I didn't know if they're splitting. Now I'm roughing my diamond seven with my trump. I don't have a communication. I could have done that, actually. Yeah, I should have done that. I should cross cross with the heart towards the ace, cash the trump, discard the king of hearts, cross with the diamond. If I knew that they are splitting 3-3. Okay, this is not counted as diamond 7, because it will be roughed. Two clubs. Both owners there. So if I play no trumps from my side, which is actually good, they have two clubs and three spades. So we have what? Three hearts, four diamonds is seven, one club is eight, spade is nine. This is another minus eight, seven. Double, and now he beats three clubs. So, double, see, double is like 10, 23. You double, and now North beats three clubs. I bid one no trump to show 18, 19, and partner is bidding two clubs like weak non-forcing where is the justice where is the justice I don't know this is probably too much for me tonight today double Okay, one diamond, one heart, and now a reopen double. What do you think, guys? Give me suggestions. I already have something in mind, so give me your suggestions. What to do? Think positive. I will help you. Four, five, one, four, three. Kevin's passing. Yeah, Kevin, really? Is it truth, reverse psychology, or reverse, reverse, reverse psychology? That you think that I will not take your suggestion into consideration and you think that, that I will not, or the other way around. Samurai is passing. Four diamonds if you believe in artificial intelligence. What? What? Samurai is passing. Reiners, good evening. Bang your brains, two spades. Well, the rest of the chat starts helping. You just need to give them some time and space. I kind of like the four diamond bid. Because we want to declare from north. But I have absolutely no trust after today to artificial intelligence. Yeah, well, guys. I mean, we have nothing to lose. No double, good sign. Only three, so different four cards. Otherwise, it wouldn't be like that bad. Okay, so what do we need?
And his clubs on on side. Why didn't he play his eight when he has a five card? Still has king queen. King queen eight. I think I have to finesse the clubs twice. Discard the diamonds. Draw trumps. Look, this is how I'm going to make it. Don't cover. He didn't cover. It's not a good sign. Oh boy. Jump. See, I just needed that one extra trump. That one extra trump I needed. Queen jack behind, or a little bit more luck. Could have roughed, actually. There, the club's behind. That was the issue. Seven, two spades making. Which is about that. Well, two spades was like a standard bid here. But I had really a feeling that we can make four spades. It was so close even with that garbage from north. Even on a fourth reef it, it was like relatively close. That's bad luck. No, this is not a good luck. It's like normal. It's normal. You should make two spades, so that's a standard bid. I made an aggressive bid, I was not lucky. I was not unlucky, I was not lucky. Um, two, four, six, too many. Reno Trumps might be a bit better with such a balanced hand. Let's see, okay, not with these hearts. And I'm losing two hearts and a club. Because on the last club I need to dump the diamond. Not to block myself. I can win all the tricks. If the queen drops. So let's cash one and see what's happening. Five of clubs and four of clubs. So they are splitting free free. Therefore, I can play the finesse and hope it works. Okay. Not the case. Not the case tonight. Luckily, we didn't need it. See, always keep like maintaining two entries there and there if you can afford it. Because it doesn't matter how I just cash and draw the trumps. But always, this is kind of an automatic thing. Just keep, you know, see, play the middle cards from both sides, cash the top and maintain the entries. You never know when you need them. Because sometimes you might be not paying attention at the beginning and then at the end you spot the chance for an end play squeeze and then you need entries to wrap some extra suit which you didn't see at trick two and too late at least we tied needs a fishy grant 27 imps doesn't seem so oh 15 4-4 four, four. so let's see 
We have a hard fit. Oh, not this. Not this. But I like the four cards. So if we have if we have like a club fit. If we have a club fit. Three aces. One, two, three. Let's go! I don't think it's grand. Ace, king, king, queen, 12, ace, 16. Hearts breaking. Okay, let's ask. If I bid five hearts and partner bids five spades to have the queen of clubs and the king of spades. Ace King in Spades, King Queen in Clubs guaranteed, and the Ace of Diamonds. Ah, 16. And I mean, I need Spade Split or something good in Spades. That's it. I mean, that's it. And I know Partner is having four Spades, four Clubs. Partner is having the jack of spades, then it's almost lay down. Okay, partner has the ten. That's good. Where's the queen, partner? Okay, he knows. <laughs> he knows. This guy didn't lead a trump. And when you are not leading a trump, that means that you have the queen. Okay, or not. Ah. Uh. How about the spades? Behaving! Dreads, doubleton queen! See? Well, I just needed the queen of clubs and it was laid down. I mean, how the cards lie with the spades. I mean, yeah. Well, in here, I don't think that we had we had any clue. Besides that, usually, Archon leads a trump against the grand, and if you don't lead a trump, and you know that those players are reading books, and you don't lead a trump. Then you have the queen, so I think it was better to finesse the queen with west. Like technically, this time, well, it was better to finesse east or actually cash from top. Man is eleven, not even a small slam. Small is lay down, but I understand. Stanley, I would probably end up free no trumps anyways. Yeah. Congrats, Kevin. You did well. Well, the first fishy slam, second fishy grand slam, playing two clubs and going down in four spades. I mean, this could have been a completely different challenge if everything was the other way around. Or if I play the other way around. Okay. Uh, first, the diamond finesse. Uh, anyway, it was uh, great fun, so once again, there is a new tournament, Back to Bridge Tournament, because it's September, everybody is returning from their holidays, I'm actually going to my holiday, this is the, well, if I'm not counting uh, Riga, well, this, this will be actually, I don't know, three years, when I was last time at the sea, I think something like that. So I'm looking forward for part of the vacation, including bridge in Pula. I hope to see you there, playing a little bit of fun bridge as well, and playing the Czech Federation tournament. So that will be there, and you know that no live stream on Thursday and next Tuesday, 
So for the match points, we see each other in 14 days. And Ms. we see each other next week, Thursday. Looking forward. Take care. Good for a nap, David. Yeah, I'm going for a nap as well. Hopefully eight hours. Bye, guys.